Hello students, I am Sachitrakar. Welcome to Cars Physics. We are continuing moving charge and magnetism. In just previous lecture, we have discussed helical path of a charge particle. Okay. So as we have discussed, if a charge particle moves in a magnetic field, either parallel or anti-parallel to the direction of magnetic field, then nature of trajectory of the charge particle is a straight line. And if a charge particle enters in a magnetic field perpendicularly, means making an angle 90 degree, means angle between velocity of charge particle and direction of magnetic field is 90 degree. Okay, then the charge particle moves in a circle means nature of trajectory is circular. And of course, in just previous lecture we have discussed if a charge particle enters in a magnetic field at any angle except 0 degree, 180 degree and 90 degree. Okay. Means if angle between velocity of charge particle and direction of magnetic field, any angle means <laughs> not 0 degree, not 180 degree and not 90 degree, then the charge particle executes helical path and the nature of trajectory is helical. Okay. And as we have discussed, if this is direction of magnetic field, then the charge particle executes helical path as axis of helical path is magnetic field. So magnetic field is axis of helical path and charge particle is moves in helical path. Okay. So this, this was our discussion in just previous lecture means in lecture number 5. This is lecture number 6, okay. Again in this lecture we are discussing on the same part means motion of charge particle in magnetic field <laughs> in helical path, okay. The application, okay. Let's see the application. The first application of helical motion of charge particle in magnetic field is Aurora Borealis. Okay. So what is Aurora Borealis? I am discussing the basic concept. Okay. Suppose, suppose this is Earth. Suppose this is Earth. This is geographic north and this is geographic south. Okay. And this is equator of earth. Okay. Uh, this is equator and this is pole, north pole and south pole. And as we know that southern region means geographic south possesses north polarity and geographic north possesses south polarity but at an angle okay so earth behaves as a magnet earth has its own magnetic field all around it and it is uh, found from experiment that south geographic south possesses north polarity means magnetic north and geographic north possesses south polarity means magnetic south but at an angle as per our experiment. This angle is very small. It will be discussed in brief. In magnetism and matter, this is center of earth. So this is south pole of earth magnet in northern region means uh, at geographic north and this is north means magnetic north at geographic south. And as you know, if you take a magnet, suppose this is a bar magnet, magnetic field strength is maximum at the polar region, means at north pole and at south pole. 
and of course it is found from experiment that at the polar region of earth north pole and south pole magnetic field strength is strongest and from experiment it is found that northern canada and southern antarctica are at polar zone and at north canada and south antarctica magnetic field strength is strongest okay so again we know magnetic field lines are from north pole to south pole means from magnetic north pole to magnetic south pole outside the magnet so it is supposed as if earth has a magnet in it and this is north pole this is south pole and magnetic field lines move from magnetic north pole to magnetic south pole and we may represent the number of magnetic field lines which are originated from magnetic north and move towards magnetic south okay so these are representation of earth magnetic field lines originating from magnetic north of earth magnet and moving towards magnetic south of earth magnet okay i think it's clear for you okay then our next discussion about sun about sun so a lot of reactions in sun takes place a lot of reactions in sun takes place and as you know temperature of sun is very high okay so in sun a lot of reaction takes place at high temperature and specifically we know in sun there are hydrogen helium etc okay so a lot of reactions chemical reaction takes place in sun and as you know nuclear fission nuclear fusion and we get light from the reaction which is called as nuclear fusion okay so those reaction takes place at very high at very high temperatures so temperature of sun is very high okay so due to these reactions due to these reactions in sun due to these reactions in sun charge particles charge particles due to reaction due to reaction in sun charge particles charge particles usually are detached charge particles are detached from sun at high temperature we know when the charge when the particles are excited they get detached charge particles are detached charge particles are detached and move away from and move charge particles are detached which are called as the charge particles move away from gravitational field of sun and these charge particles are called sun wind sun wind charge particles are detached which are called as sun wind leave leave gravitational field gravitational field of sun means the charge particles are made free from pull due to gravity from sun okay the charge particles are detached away means move away gravitational field of sun and move away also also enter where enter the charge particles move away from gravity 
pull due to gravity of sun or gravitational field of sun and move out and enter in earth atmosphere enter in earth atmosphere enter in earth atmosphere the charge particles mean sun wind enter in earth atmosphere okay with with sun velocity charge particles center in gravity enter in atmosphere of earth with sun velocity is it clear okay charge particles are detached from sun the charge particles are called as sun wind and those charge particles mean sun wind move away from sun and leave gravitational field of sun and enter in earth atmosphere with some velocity see when the charge particles enter means move towards earth in polar region in polar region the charge particles or the sun wind is trapped is trapped by magnetic field of earth the sun wind or charge particles are trapped by magnetic field of earth at polar region at polar region you see so as we have discussed if the magnetic field is represented like this and charge particle enters at any angle then the charge particle executes helical motion as magnetic field is axis of helical path if magnetic field suppose magnetic field is like this like this and charge particle enters at any angle means velocity of charge particle makes any angle except 0 degree 180 degree and 90 degree then charge particle executes helical path and again magnetic field is axis of helical path okay so here at polar region as i have discussed that polar region magnetic field is stronger again at polar region magnetic field is entering means the curved magnetic field lines are there from south to north at polar region the charge particles are trapped by earth magnetic field and we know magnetic field magnetic field magnetic field is stronger is stronger at poles magnetic field is stronger at poles okay again when the charge particles from sun mean sun wind are trapped by magnetic field at polar region what happens the charge particle it doesn't mean that the charge particle enter at 0 degree <laughs> or with 180 degree or at 90 degree so many charge particles may enter at different angles so if the angle is means the if the charge particles uh, some charge or many charge particles not some if many charge particles enter at different angles neither parallel nor anti parallel <laughs> nor perpendicular means at any angle then the charge particle will execute helical motion so charge particles are trapped by this magnetic field and executes and executes helical motion executes helical motion at the polar region okay 
and the polar region charged particles execute helical motion. Okay. Then what happens? As we know, the charged particles enter in earth atmosphere with very high velocity. And we know in earth atmosphere, in earth atmosphere, in earth atmosphere, mainly, there are many components of gas particles are there and mainly we know nitrogen and oxygen are present in earth atmosphere. So those charged particles when sun wind interact with nitrogen and oxygen means heat. Sun wind means charged particles uh, coming from sun heat oxygen and nitrogen okay so well, when the charged particles hit oxygen and nitrogen then electrons are excited and leave oxygen and hydrogen means electrons move from lower orbit to higher orbit as we know the excited electrons means the electrons which uh, gain energy when the sun wind or charged particles coming from sun heat oxygen and nitrogen, then the electrons gain energy and move from lower orbit to higher orbit. And as we know, in higher orbits, electrons are not comfortable. Again, the electrons return back. Again, the electrons return back from higher orbit to lower orbit, giving out. Electrons return back from higher orbit to lower orbit giving out electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation means the radiation in the form of light. Radiation in the form of light. And as it is observed, as it is observed, nitrogen, as it is observed, nitrogen emits energy emits energy in the form of electromagnetic wave nitrogen emits energy with a particular color that is pink color nitrogen emits energy with pink color and similarly oxygen emits energy oxygen emits energy with green color okay so what happens due to this effect nitrogen emits energy with pink color and oxygen emits energy with green color so due to this effect what happens in polar sky means in northern part or southern part in polar sky basically it is observed in northern Canada part okay in polar sky dazzling colors dazzling colors means beautiful colors are observed of course there is not only pink and green there are different colors but dominating colors dominating colors are pink and green so there are other particles also are there except oxygen and nitrogen so different colors may come but mostly oxid mostly pink and green colors are observed in polar sky okay a beautiful scenario as it is observed and in ancient days in ancient days it was believed that the beautiful color in polar sky is due to boon of God. But gradually science revealed the fact and this is the cause of colored polar sky. Okay. This is called as aurora borils. This is called as aurora borils. Okay. So this is due to helical motion of charge particle. Again, some effects 
So basically this happens in polar region. Why? Because in polar region, magnetic field is strong where the charged particles coming from sun are trapped. If magnetic field is strong, then it easily traps the charged particle coming from sun in the form of sun wind. Okay? Again, I'll erase it now. Some of effects, some of effects due to this effect means charged particles are trapped by stronger magnetic field at polar region. Charged particles, charged particles are trapped, are trapped in stronger region of earth magnetic field means polar region so due to this effect due to this effect due to this effect magnetic field due to this effect magnetic field Traps, traps, cosmic rays. Of course, cosmic rays are those charged particles are sun wind. Sun wind. Cosmic ray means those charged particles are sun wind. So due to this effect, magnetic field traps cosmic rays and and doesn't allow and doesn't allow to reach the earth okay doesn't allow to reach the earth again cosmic rays interact cosmic rays interact Cosmi there is a, there are also interactions of cosmic rays Cosmic rays interact with atoms in our atmosphere. Atoms to produce to produce color light, which is called as aurora. Bodies. This is complete discussion, theoretical discussion and basic discussion of course, not complete, basic discussion on aurora bodies. Okay, charged particles from sun are detached and move away from pole due to gravity of sun and enter in earth atmosphere and get trapped by stronger magnetic field at the polar region of earth. Okay. And those cosmic rays are trapped by stronger magnetic field at polar region and doesn't, the stronger magnetic field doesn't allow the cosmic rays to reach on earth. Okay. So, cosmic rays interact with atoms to produce color light. As we have discussed, they interact with different atoms and mostly on nitrogen and oxygen, the heat oxygen and nitrogen electrons are get excited and move from lower orbit to higher orbit. In higher orbit, the electrons are not stable. They again return back to lower orbit, giving out electromagnetic radiation in the form of flight. Okay. And mostly we see pink and green lights in polar sky. Okay. The next application, next application, a small discussion, a small discussion, magnetic bottle, magnetic bottle, <laughs> we know bottle, <laughs> uh, of course I have a water bottle with me. <laughs> this is water bottle. This bottle contains water. 
This bottle contains water. <laughs> this is water bottle. But I am discussing on magnetic bottle. Is it really a bottle? No. <laughs> magnetic bottle. It's not really a bottle. It's a, it is named so. Okay. The shape appears as a bottle. The shape appears as a bottle. Okay. Then why we are discussing on magnetic bottles? Magnetic bottle stores hot plasma. Of course, plasma is at a uh, uh, at high temperature state, at very hot state. The general discussion you know, suppose you want to combine hydrogens to form helium. Then it is done at very high temperature and the temperature range is about 10 to the power 6 degree centigrade to 10 to the power 7 degree centigrade. Okay. Hot plasma. Okay. Hydrogens are combined at very high temperature. About 10 to the power 6 degree centigrade to 10 to the power 7 degree centigrade. Okay. And finally, plasma state is achieved. Then we have to store the plasma for future application, for further application. And there are several applications are there. Okay. <laughs> uh, those are in your higher level studies. We are just discussing about the fundamental of magnetic bottle. Okay. Uh, then plasma is formed at very high temperature. Okay. Hydrogens are combined to form helium at high temperature. Then how the plasma is stored? Plasma is stored in magnetic bottle. Then how magnetic bottle is formed? Okay. Suppose these are two coils. Okay. These two coils are separated by Suppose a distance D and D is very small. D is a small distance between two coils. Okay. Let current I is flowing in this coil and also current I is flowing in this coil. So this is a current carrying coil and this is also a current carrying coil. And as you know, a current carrying coil produces magnetic field. Okay. If one coil is, uh, one coil shows north polarity on this side, then other coil will show south polarity and vice versa. So magnetic field lines are from north to south. I am showing some of magnetic field lines, not all. Okay. And we know where magnetic field lines are crowded, then field is stronger. And magnetic field is stronger near the coils, means here magnetic field lines are crowded and distance between the magnetic field lines increases. Are the medial region near the coils magnetic field is stronger as we were, we were discussing in just previous lecture aurora borealis at the north pole and south pole magnetic field strength is stronger because field lines are crowded okay thus magnetic field is created okay if hot plasma if hot plasma is enters is enter into the magnetic field hot plasma means at a very high temperature okay at very high temperature ions are formed ions are formed because the electrons are detached now okay those ions means charged particles in plasma there are charged particles because the electrons are detached enter in the magnetic field so, all the charged particles uh, can never enter uh, either in parallel or anti-parallel or perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. Some of charged particles may enter like that. 
but many charged particles enter at any angle not 0 not 1 8 not 90 so if charged particle enters at any angle means velocity of charged particle makes any angle with magnetic field other than 0 90 and 180 degree then the charged particle executes any kind of the thus the ions enter at any angle and are trapped in the magnetic field and execute helical motion. Suppose, charge particle enters here and executes helical motion. Okay. Executes helical motion. Executes helical motion like this. But see, like this, all these magnetic field lines will come to charge particles which execute helical motion. I have given one example but where the uh, charged ions will comfortably, comfortably reside. Charged particles comfortably reside where magnetic field is weaker. Then actually what happens? Then actually what happens when charged particle enters in this magnetic field and executes helical motion. Okay. Here magnetic field is strong. When charge particle enters to the strong magnetic field, it again comes back. It again comes back. It again comes back. And here also, the charge particle moves to stronger magnetic field, means near the current carrying coil and comes back because here magnetic field is stronger and again moves to other side. Here also magnetic field is stronger so it again comes back to the middle zone. Okay. So in this middle zone the charge particles, most of the charge particles execute helical motion and are trapped in this magnetic field as we have discussed charge particle will move charge particle will move but will get away from the stronger magnetic field and comfortably reside in weaker region of magnetic field and here the hot plasma so the charged ions are present in plasma means plasma is stored in this space you see this is this is in the shape of a bottle for which it is called as magnetic bottle for this is for this it is called as magnetic bottle okay so another thing i have just uh, recalling you when charge particle enters means hot plasma enters current flows in this region and magnetic field is produced and the plasma is trapped in this weaker region of magnetic field where the charge plasma can be stored for future use okay so this is about magnetic bottle and these are called as these two current carrying coils are called as magnetic mirror magnetic mirror the basic purpose is to store plasma at a high temperature because at such a high temperature <laughs> suppose uh, uh, can you store the hot plasma in my water bottle at such a high temperature no no bottle can store at such a high temperature the bottle will <laughs> the bottle will be set in fire okay so this is the way how it is stored. It is not practically a bottle, but uh, its shape looks as a bottle, which is called as magnetic bottle. Hot plasma is stored in weaker region of magnetic field. Okay. This is today's discussion. Thanks, my children. Thanks.